Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to be moving on to creating your first HTML5 site. And if you've used HTML before, this code right here might look a little familiar to you. We have uh, just a doc type, um, and it's given the type of doc type it is, we're using HTML 4.01. And, uh, and basically, this is going to look pretty familiar because this is probably how you've made websites, I mean, especially with HTML. Right? And then we have things like our meta tags, our script, and our style sheets, that sort of stuff. And then we have our body tags like normal. So this is all looking pretty normal. I mean, there's nothing crazy here, right? In fact, I actually just grabbed this, you know, from some project building site. I don't really have a, a site going here. I'm actually going to get rid of some of this stuff here um, just so we can keep this bare bones. Okay, and I'm gonna get rid of the comment on the script so we can see how exactly this stuff is going to change. So how do we make this into an HTML5 document? Well, uh, if you recall, you know, with, with the doc type up here, all we actually have to do to declare an HTML5 doc type is just do doc type HTML. So it's exclamation point, doc type in all caps, and then HTML. So this is letting your browser know to run in standards mode for HTML5. This is the HTML5 doc type. Couldn't get any easier than that. Well, what next? Well, we don't really need this laying ink, but we can leave it in there. No big deal. And uh, the next thing we want to do is we want to define its character set. Well, in here, your HTML4 version, we had to use uh, this HTTP equiv content type, content text HTML. With HTML5, you really just need to declare the character set here by saying meta character set and then UTF8. And we can do that just like this here. So this is our character set, meta character set. And I'm just going to get rid of these meta keywords for now because they're just getting in the way. And our title tag will be our HTML5 site. So title's not changing. That's the same as it's always been. But what about these, uh, you know, these link types? I'm, I'm going to get rid of this favicon one as well here. So now we just have a link uh, that's hooking up your style sheet and we have our script tag that's hooking up our JavaScript. Well, in the past we've had to do type equals text JavaScript, then the source and then it's JavaScript. Well, I mean, it makes sense that if we're using a script tag, uh, since JavaScript is the primary uh, scripting language on the web, why wouldn't this always be text JavaScript? So with HTML5, we can completely omit that. And now we just have to say script and then link it with the source. And the same thing is with this style sheet here. We also don't have to specify anything other than the relationship and then the href. So we can get rid of media screen. We can get rid of type text CSS just like this. And this is it. So it's nice and bare bones here. So this is our HTML5 site. Now, if you'll notice, we can put anything in the body here, uh, and they could be just normal divs, you know, uh, just normal everything, right? And this is going to be rendering just perfect. In fact, let's throw this open in a browser right now so you can see it in action, and it's just gonna be a pretty standard HTML site here. All right, so here we have it. Here's our page and it's nothing crazy, but your browser now knows that this is using HTML5 and everything should be all good. So as you can see, it's really not hard to get started with HTML5. There's nothing crazy, there's nothing stopping you. So by all means, start writing some HTML and all you have to do is specify doc type HTML and bam, you know, it's HTML5. This is the new doc type, it's super easy. So you may be surprised, but this is all we need to start an HTML5 site. And this is your first HTML5 site done. Perfect. Cool. Well, this was nice and short. Uh, uh, you know, these videos might be a little short in the beginning here because there's a lot of little things, but you know, there's nothing crazy here. So in the next video, we're going to start going over some of the new elements. 
and we're going to be introducing you to some of the elements you're going to be using quite frequently. And we're not going to go into all the details, but the basic usage of them. And then later on, we're going to come back and show you all the cool usages of everything. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, leave a vid uh, comment on the video or hit us up at Twitter, Level Up Tuts or on Facebook or pretty much anywhere. We love hearing from you. Um, you know, we can't always get to your questions because like I said, uh, this is not our, our full-time gig. This is a, a app, you know, after work and weekends thing. So by all means, please ask away. And if community members can help you answer that, uh, that's really appreciated. But um, we cannot get to all the questions, but we do love hearing from you. So as always, thanks for watching. This is Scott and have a good one. Bye.